Literati Bookstore is um, a general independent bookstore selling new titles downtown Ann Arbor, Michigan. Um, we focus on literary fiction and the social sciences, poetry, literati, you know, is Latin. It just means, you know, educate people who are interested in books and that's just what Ann Arbor is. I worked for Simon & Schuster for about five years and so my job was to out of the thousands of titles that Simon & Schuster publishes every year to pick out the titles that I thought were appropriate for independent bookstores. Hillary introduced the culture of bookstores and, and, and books to me and um, when we were living in Brooklyn we visited bookstores um, and in New York and we saw how they were successful and they were just part of our livelihood. We had always said, you know, had the, we had had conversations about what makes bookstores work and we always, you know, fantasize about opening up our own bookstore, but, you know, kind of watched with, you know, what was happening to bookstores and ebooks, watched that um, evolving. And when, you know, Shaman Drum closed, which was the other independent bookstore downtown, when they closed in 2009 and then when Borders announced they were closing in, in 2011, you're like, how is there no downtown bookstore selling new titles um, in Ann Arbor, which is, you know, a college town, a huge, you know, literary uh, culture here. Um, and so that's when we were like, what if, we, what if we did that? What if we, we opened this door? Hillary grew up in Ann Arbor, um, and she grew up on the north side, and she grew up going to bookstores here. And I have family here. We'd always want to move back to Michigan and, and to Ann Arbor and to start a bookstore. I mean, it was still scary because that was the time the borders was closing and, and bookstores, so much was changing within the, the publishing landscape. Um, but from what I could see from the bookstores that I worked with at Simon & Schuster was there was this rebound of, of local, local shops that were, you know, smaller in scale and did the curated inventory. And, um, I, and I think that also ties into kind of the shop local movement that's that's been happening for a few years. All of our books bookshelves are from Borders um, Number One is what they called it corporately because it was um, the one based here in Ann Arbor where Borders started. And we bought the shelves actually before we even had signed the lease here. <laughs> we were like, we're gonna open a bookstore. We don't know where in Ann Arbor, but it'll happen. And we really wanted the shelves from Borders, and so we. Um, we bought them and stored them until we were ready to move in here and it's really really great I mean to have part of Borders be part of who we are because Borders is so much Ann Arbor. We have people that, that come in and they say oh I've seen these bookshelves before and they'll say it in an, an emotional way because you know they had a, a, a solid connection with with Borders and, and these shelves and, and we're just really lucky um, to have these in the store it's sort of a a piece of Ann Arbor that we can keep going. And I think um, providing a space where people can meet and discuss ideas in an open setting um, and bring t people together that other wouldn't, otherwise wouldn't come together is the importance of a brick and mortar store. Customers will come in and buy a book and they'll say, I'm buying this because I don't want you to close because they've seen Borders close, they've seen Shaman Drum close. And, and a number of customers specifically shop at our store because they want to see a bookstore be part of their downtown. There's so much emphasis these days on algorithms providing um, people with, uh, companies using algorithms to provide customers with what they think they want. And um, it loses some of the whimsical nature when you rely on those algorithms. Um, and I think a bookstore can offer um, those, those types of surprises. Some independent bookstores do sell ebooks on their website. We just chose not to because we want to focus on um, the printed book and the written word. And our store is a community center instead of just a store that sells a product. Um, and and I think that's what differentiates us from maybe an online retailer or or ebooks in general. They each have a place within the market, um, print books and ebooks and. I think there always will be a place for both. Yeah, and, and you know, reading books is, um, it's an individual process, it's a solitary process, it's an isolated process, but um, it's also a collaborative process. That's why book clubs are so successful and that's why writing groups are so successful. And bookstores too, because we see people come here all the time and strangers will 
be looking at a book and someone will say, oh, this is a, that, that book in your hand, that's a great book, you should read that. And it's really fun to see those people who otherwise wouldn't be chatting with each other um, kind of come together around an idea or you know, an author or a kind of writing. Other customers will come in and say, I have digital burnout. Yeah. I, I stare at a computer all day long, and the last thing I want to do before I go to sleep is look at a tablet or look at another screen. I just want the soft feel of a paper book <laughs> um, purchased from my local independent bookstore. There's a thrill, I think, about um, having something that exists in the world that cannot be deleted, it can't be changed, um, it's just there and what it is. And we've tried to embrace that with our typewriter logo and uh, offering out a public um, typewriter for people to type on whatever they want. Um, some people come and they type really positive messages or quotes or, or, or um, just of advice. general salutations. Other people come in on a Saturday night and type really dark stuff. That's the point of allowing somebody to come in and just type something that isn't going to go into the, um, <laughs> the black hole of you know, Twitter or the internet <laughs> or something. And part of the, the reason we chose a typewriter as, as our logo is that, you know, with a typewriter, your words do appear on the page and there's no delete key. You have to be really thoughtful about what you're writing. And that's the kind of writing that we want to support in the store is very thoughtful, engaged, um, engaged writing that, that you don't find all the time. I, I think the future of book selling is independent bookstores, is what I would say. Um, they really are the place where, you know, incubators of ideas and, and, and places where writers can practice their craft and grow and spread the word because, you know, the booksellers at independent bookstores are reading so much and interacting with writers and providing space for new ideas to come about, and I think that really um, is the future of book selling.